Well, initially when I was younger, I thought I've got to go off and like see the world sort of thing. So I went to Australia when I left school, but then I came back after seven or eight months. And uh, I just love it here. I think once you get by that having to go away um, to find something to do, uh, a job career, then if you can come back and settle, there's so much here. I think you have to start off, you have to go and you, you have to just get what you can to begin with um, and I think if you work hard you can get into the lights of uh, this sort of job which I've always wanted to do but um, for me it's just I'm not career driven, it's just uh, I love getting out in the hills. I think it's special, um, it's easier commutes to work, things like that. You've only got, I've only got three miles in the morning to get to work so I can leave ten minutes before where's the mainland you're commuting for sometimes an hour to get to where you are and then you've got all the traffic and well, like that, it's easier here. <laughs> uh, we moved here 15 years ago. I just wanted to change the scenery and at the time um, my children were only five and six and we thought it would be a really nice place to, to move and bring them up. Um, it's been very varied. I've had loads of different jobs since I moved here. Mm -hmm. um, I work here just a couple of days a week and I've got a small business as well. So I do all sorts of things, so I come across all sorts of different people um, and you tend to find that everyone here is sort of, you know, really friendly and it's, yeah, it's a good place to work. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to come here on holiday quite a lot, well, at least once a year before we moved up here. So we really enjoyed it as a holiday destination and I'd say, I mean, it depends what you want. You know, we're quite happy. You don't have the big lights of the, you know, the, the city lights and things here, but, um, you know, if you like the, the outdoors and a you know, a more peaceful way of life and living in the community, then it's great. Yeah. Um, lived in Arden 22 years. I was born in Glasgow, but brought up here, went to school here. Um, enjoyed school life, I suppose. Um, worked in the kitchen for about six and a half years, um, and I've been here for about four months. Thoroughly enjoy my job here. Great to work for, good employer. Nice to have a job that I can walk to every day. So it's like you feed the people that you see every day, you know, so it's, it's very satisfying to sort of do a 40 cover service and then on my day off run into people who have come and actually eaten and they can tell me whether they have enjoyed it or not, depending. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's nice, it's nice knowing, knowing the people that you feed, you know, every day. It's a, a satisfying part of living in a local small community. I've lived on Arm for 34 years. I've been working at the Red Door for two years and uh, brought up my family here and they now work on Arm. It's a better way of life on Arm, I feel, than on the mainland. There's a lot of rushing about on the mainland, whereas on Arm it's a, it's a more even pace of life and uh, more community based than, than quite a few places on the mainland. There's quite a lot to do in Arden, you know, whether you're a walker or you're interested in birds or anything like that. There's quite a lot to do sport-wise and uh, other things as well. Just mm -hmm. I wouldn't le leave it at all. It's a great place to work and live and raise a family and um, all the people are nice. It's a, a very nice way of life. I'm from Glasgow originally. I came here at the age of 17 for a holiday job and I met my husband here and I've been here ever since. I've been here for 43 years. So it's a fantastic place to be. Right. Well, I work in a handmade chocolate shop, which is fantastic. Uh, that's probably the best thing, you know, that I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the views, the weather <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> and uh, everybody's very friendly. It's uh, just a very relaxed place to be. Do you get lots of free samples? I can eat my face off every day. <laughs> <laughs> I would recommend a trip to Arran because it is like just taking a wee step off for a while. You just relax um, and just get back to seeing a lot of nature. There's loads of things to see here, loads of walks, good food, brewery, distillery. I mean, you know, there's loads to see. And for children, it's just fantastic. The schools are second to none, and um, they have a proper childhood here, you know, and um, 
then they go to the mainland for the for uni and everything, and they're absolutely um, up for it, you know, full of confidence. I think there's something about Aaron that gives the, the kids a lot of confidence. You know. I'm originally from Doncaster. Uh, I moved here with my wife. Um, she's a nurse. She was nearly qualified from Glasgow and couldn't get a job on the mainland, so we ended up here. Um, working in this industry, you get to meet someone different every day. Like, I love this job that I've got now in the pub. It's one of the best jobs I've had on the island, but um, usually it's just like catering and hospitality and things like that. It's, it's a tourist island. There's no kind of like office work or anything. It's, it's so safe, it's so calm, it's relaxed. Definitely a lot of people that move from cities to here say that they just the stress levels just go right down and people are so lovely and they're so quirky and there's so many different kinds of people living here so it's, you meet all types of people and all generations as well they all talk to each other and you say it takes a village to raise a child and definitely villages do raise children here